髪型浮世絵館の館長の高野です当館は世界でただ一つ常設展示しております髪型浮世絵の美術館です道頓堀の役者絵を展示しておりますのでぜひご覧くださいませ Today, let's explore the history and origins of ukiyo-e. Ukiyo-e, a traditional Japanese woodblock print art from the Edo period, is known for its unique style and techniques. Ukiyo-e began in the early 17th century, as genre paintings popular among urban commoners. The term, ukiyo-e, comes from, yukio, meaning the floating world, referring to the pleasures and entertainments of the time. Hashikawa Morinobu, considered the founder of ukiyo-e, is well known for works like, Beauty Looking Back. Morinobu's works laid the foundation for Yukio-e by depicting everyday life, beautiful women, and actors. In the 18th century, Yukio-e developed further. Suzuki Harinobu pioneered the multicolored woodblock printing technique, known as Nishiki-e, allowing for vibrant and colorful prints. Harinobu's works often depicted love and daily life. Katsushika Hokusai and Utagawa Hiroshige were next. Hokusai is famous for his landscape series, 36 Views of Mount Fuji, characterized by bold compositions. Hiroshige, known for his, The 53 Stations of the Takedo, depicted travel scenes with emotion. Their works influenced later Impressionist painters. In the 19th century, Yukio-e evolved further. Artists like Utagawa Kuniyoshi and Utagawa. Kanasada excelled in warrior prints, portraits of beautiful women, and actor prints. Kuniyoshi was known for his imaginative and humorous works. During this period, Yukio-e spread internationally. In Europe, especially Paris, there was a fascination with Japanese art, known as Japonismi. Yukio-e impacted Impressionist painters like Edgar Degas, Vincent van Gogh, and Claude Monet, who incorporated its colors and themes into their works. Yukio-e production involved several craftsmen. The artist designed the print, the carver engraved the design onto wooden blocks, and the printer applied ink and pressed them onto paper. This resulted in vibrant and detailed prints. Yukio-e covered various themes. Initially, it focused on genre paintings and portraits of beautiful women. Later, it included landscapes, actor prints, and warrior prints. Landscapes flourished under artists like Hokusai and Hiroshige. Today, Yukio-e is highly regarded as a symbol of Japanese culture. Many Yukio-e prints are displayed in museums and galleries. And contemporary artists continue to be inspired by Yukio-e. In conclusion, Yukio-e is a traditional Japanese art form that has transcended time, understanding its history and origins, enhances appreciation of its charm and significance. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.